Welcome back, everyone. This is Professor Dan at the University of Colorado, and we're going through some Tinkercad exercises. So in our first several videos, we introduced you to how to blink in, well, how to turn on Tinkercad, how to blink in LED, how to get information from a sensor, and then how to do something with that sensor. So how to make a nightlight. In this exercise here, we're going to go through some of the um, advanced exercises from the um, from the workshop, including making a heartbeat and then making SOS. So we're gonna we're gonna do heartbeat and we're gonna do SOS as a function. So um, let's just go through it so you can see how we do it. So we'll go to Tinkercad. We'll get we'll create all this stuff from a new. All right, so we're gonna go create a new circuit. And again, we need an Arduino, so we'll give ourselves an Arduino. I love it for free. Ah. Thanks. Thanks, Tinkercad. Bring that over. We need a breadboard. And so if you want me to go a little slower, um, in the first videos, I go through it pretty slowly. And so in this one, we're going to go a little quicker just to, you know, by this time you have seen these exercises, or I'm assuming you've seen these exercises. So first thing we do is code. Now we have blocks and text. Again, always use the text. And so now we have pin mode, 13 output. We have our digital rights, our delays. And so, yeah, we start our simulation just to make sure it's working. Good to go. And so now I want to give ourselves an LED. And let's do a resistor. And what type of resistors do we have in our kits? We have 330 because we use the SparkFun kits, and it's not kilo ohms. It is ohms. Okay. So yeah, we bring this down, and we try to make it relatively neat. There we go. So let me rotate that over. Put that in. Put the wire come over. Green's fine for that. Just slide that over one. And I like my I like my black wires um, going to ground. All right, so now we just start the simulation. That should blink. Sure does. Okay, so now how do we make a heartbeat? So first things first, does anything change with our pin mode? Nope, we want to have our pin mode still be an output. But in this case, in our first case, we have a digital write 13 high. A heartbeat goes... Thump, 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 thump. So it's a short pulse. So we'll call that 200. Followed by a long pulse. And so if we just have two pulses, we should be okay. But this is two short pulses. Let's try our long pulse. Let's see how that works. So we start that simulation. Don't, don't. All right, not quite right. Not quite right. So when we look at this, we go, dun, 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 dun. we're going to turn that off a little quicker. So when we go to our code, what if we turn that off a little quicker? We can move this stuff over a little bit. Oops. Start simulation. There we go. Thump, thump. Thump, thump. And you can play around with that code yourself um, if you don't like my heartbeat. But yeah, it's just adding more digital rights, more delays. All right. But what if I wanted to do a, an SOS? So three short, three slow, wait, three fast, three slow, three fast um, turn ons. What does that look like? Well, I could have a lot of code to do that. But in general, what I want is fast, slow, Fast, right? I want three fast, 
up. It doesn't like three first. So three fast, fast three, slow three, fast three, right? And then what I can do is make functions. So just like void loop and void setup, if I keep that um, general kind of syntax, I can make my own functions. So let's start with fast three. So if I'm not returning a variable, I say void. And maybe we'll make another video later on when we're returning variables. Void fast three. And what I want this function to do is I'm going to use this thing called a for loop. So I want to do it three times. I want to blink fast. So for ii equals zero. So I'm going to tell it's an integer ii. So that is we are declaring a variable ii. We don't want to use i because if we use MATLAB, if we use the variables i or j, we get into that, to that habit. Um, we're going to undo our MATLAB. And I love MATLAB. So I want to undo my MATLAB. So if we start at zero, and if we go less than three, and we increment by one, so ii plus plus means at the very end, make ii greater by one. So we start at zero, we go less than three, ii greater than one. So we're gonna go through this three times. We go zero is our first time, one is our second time, two is our third time, and once this is false, it exits out of this for statement. So what goes in there? Let's call another function, blink fast. Cool. All right, so now we have our void fast three. Now I gotta call this thing. I'm just gonna not worry about slow three. We're gonna go through fast three before we do slow three. So we'll call another function. So you can call a function from a function. We'll call this one blink fast. And so the syntax is you write the name of it and then you have open and close parentheses. If we were passing variables to it, that's where we do that. So void blink fast, what do we wanna do? We wanna blink fast. So this is where we can have our digital right, 13 high, digital right, 13 low. We don't wanna forget our delay, delay. Blink fast from our heartbeat example. We're gonna have 200. Delay 200. There we go. And so, what this says is give me fast three, give me another fast three. Let's add a delay right here just to say we're at the end. Fast three says give me if ii I is equal to zero, ii I is then less than three, that's gonna go through this. Yep. If I, I, it's going to go through blink fast. And if we added other commands, it would go through those as well. We get to the end, and then it says I, I plus plus, which means I, I is now one. Uh, one is less than three. We keep going. I, I is now two. Two is less than three. Goes through it again. And then finally exits out. And then we actually do it again because we call that function again. And then blink fast is just how we blink. Just Turning it on, turning off. All right, let's see if let's see if we made any mistakes. So we say go. Five, six. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, Mississippi, two. There we go. Looks like it's working. All right. So now let's do the same thing with our slope. Void. Void. Slow three. And we're going to give ourselves, again, another for loop. So for int, we can call it ii or we can call it jj. Call it whatever we want. Call it dan. Um, ii, oops, jj less than three. jj plus plus. This is just an introduction to for loops. You can actually reference those um, incremental variables there. That's what JJ and II are. And you can do really fun stuff. But for now, let's just 
Um, let's just do one thing at a time. So this is just gonna, a way to go through this three times. And then we say void blink slow. What does blink slow look like? Well, let's type it out. Digital right, 13 comma high. Digital right, 13 comma low. And I do that just because I've done this a bunch of times and I always forget to do digital low digital right low. So I just do them right, one right after another and then I add my delays. And so my delay, let's do 500 for slow. So 200 for fast, about 2.5 times as long for slow without being too slow, right? All right. So now our actual commands here, it's just three. In our void loop, we just have three commands. Turn them on fast, turn them on slow, turn them on fast, and then actually have a delay. We don't need the delay, but it's just kind of nice to have. All right, let's try it out. Start simulation. One, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, it's probably better to have like a little delay between, but I think you get the point. And so what did we learn? We learned some functions. We learned um, functions inside functions. Yeah, I think we learned a lot. All right, so with that, I am going to sign out and we'll make more videos. All right, we'll see you next time.